Jerry is a hotshot sports agent, working for one of the biggest agencies in the game. He was always hustling, trying to get the best deals for his clients, and he was damn good at it too. One day, disaster struck. One of Jerry's top clients got injured, and his kid called Jerry out for not caring enough about his dad. F you. That hit Jerry hard, and he spent the night tossing and turning, trying to figure out what he really believed in. And then it happened. Jerry had an epiphany, a bolt of lightning from the heavens that showed him what it really meant to represent someone. He typed down his thoughts and distributed it to everyone at his company's annual conference. It was a call to arms for sports agents everywhere. But as you might imagine, not everyone was thrilled with Jerry's newfound enlightenment. His protege, Bob Sugar, was none too pleased and promptly fired him from the agency. Jerry was left with one client, the loud and obnoxious Rod Tidwell, who only cared about one thing. Show me the money. But Jerry wasn't about to give up. He rallied the troops, inviting anyone who wanted to be part of something great to join him on his quest. And then, like a beacon of hope, Dorothy appeared. She had been inspired by Jerry's manifesto and was ready to join him on his journey. Just two of them. And her cute kid. Jerry was in a bit of a pickle, he needed to attract some fresh talent to get his business back on track. So, his fiance Avery had an idea. They should go see the college star football player Cushman in Texas and try to sign him up for the upcoming NFL draft. It seemed like a good plan, so Jerry hopped on a plane and headed south. When he arrived, Cushman's dad welcomed him with open arms and agreed to let Jerry be his son's agent for the draft. However, when it came time to sign a contract, the elder Cushman refused, claiming that his word was stronger than Oak. Jerry was left feeling uneasy, but he soldiered on. At the NFL draft, Jerry threw himself into promoting Cushman, parading him around like a prized pony. Unfortunately, this left his other client, Rod, feeling neglected and left out in the cold. Eventually, Jerry realized his mistake and spent some quality time with Rod, introducing him to owners and coaches and talking him up like he was the next big thing. But then, Jerry intercepted a call from Bob Sugar to Cushman, revealing that the young football star had signed with Bob instead of him. Avery was furious with Jerry for failing to get a signed contract. The fight escalated, and it was the final straw for Jerry, Loser. who realized that he didn't want to spend the rest of his life with someone who only cared about the bottom line. Jerry has had a little too much drink and decides to go to Dorothy's house, feeling bold and flirtatious. But Dorothy gently turns him down. Embarrassed by his actions, Jerry makes a hasty retreat, assuring Dorothy that everything will be just fine once they get Rod's new contract from his current team in Arizona. Jerry invites Dorothy out for dinner a few days later, and they spontaneously decide to spend the night together. But when Jerry returns from his trip out west, he finds that the offer from Arizona is insultingly low, not enough to satisfy Rod's needs. The next day, Rod decides to play out the final year of his current contract and be a free agent next year. And to make matters worse, Dorothy tells Jerry that she's accepted an accounting job in San Diego that requires her to move. This news hits Jerry hard. So, in a moment of impulsivity, he decides to propose to Dorothy just as she's about to leave. Before long, the two lovebirds are married and everyone is gathered together to watch the wedding video. But as the footage plays out, it becomes painfully clear that Jerry is not exactly over the moon with excitement. In fact, he looks downright stressed out. Perhaps this union was not as perfect as it seemed after all. The football season is in full swing and Jerry is hitting the road to catch every one of Rod's games. Sadly, this means he's spending less and less time at home with Dorothy, who's starting to feel like she's taking a backseat to her husband's passion for the game. But as the season progresses, Jerry and Rod's friendship grows stronger than ever. Dorothy starts to notice something else too, the way Rod and his wife Marcy are so deeply committed to each other. As she spends more time with them, she can't help but feel a twinge of envy. She longs for that kind of love and devotion in her own marriage. 
One night, just before Jerry heads out for a Monday night football game, Dorothy worked up the courage to confront him. She tells him that their marriage was a mistake, that his proposal was nothing more than an idea, and that she wants someone who truly loves her. Jerry, however, is not one to give up so easily. He tells her that he's a man who sticks by his commitments. But Dorothy is not convinced. She wants more than just someone who sticks around. She wants someone who truly loves her with all his heart. It's a difficult conversation, and one that leaves both of them feeling uneasy. It's Monday night football and the announcers are singing Rod's praises. He's had an incredible season, helping to bring Arizona to the brink of a playoff spot. Jerry is in the stands, cheering his friend on with every fiber of his being. Better not mess up for Monday night football. And then, magic happened. Rod pulls off a series of truly impressive catches, including the game-winning touchdown. The stadium erupts with joy and Jerry is beside himself with emotion. While everyone was celebrating, Rod was left lying on the ground. Suddenly there were concerns about his health. Rod still managed to pull himself together and celebrate the winning touchdown in style. But the most important celebration is yet to come. Jerry races home to find Dorothy in the middle of her divorced women's support group meeting. He makes a bold declaration of love in front of them all. He pours his heart out, telling Dorothy that he loves her more than anything in the world and he can't live without her. To everyone's surprise, Dorothy accepts him back with open arms. Jerry and Dorothy are finally reunited, and it feels like nothing can bring them down. And then, there's more good news. During a TV interview with Rod, it's revealed that he's been offered an incredibly generous contract by Arizona. It's everything he ever wanted. The chance to finish his career with the team he loves. The sun is shining and the birds are singing as new family take a leisurely stroll down a path beside a baseball court. Suddenly, a ball lands at the boy's feet, and he swiftly tosses it back onto the field with impressive force. As they continue to walk, Jerry can't help but think of the boy's natural talent for baseball. Dorothy is hesitant at first, but Jerry suggests they start preparing him for a professional career. Thank you for watching. 